<clears throat> okay, let's have let's have a moderator roundtable discussion here. Okay, and everyone is invited. Mods, non-mods, broadcasters, VIPs. I want to know your perspective. This is a conversation. Okay. I'm not putting anyone on trial, but we are all going to challenge each other to have the best goddamn chat on Twitch.tv. And uh, I haven't really taken a, a tough pass at moderation in the channel. So let's let's open the discussion by me correctly setting the stream title so StarCraft people don't hassle me about getting into another game. Just chatting. Okay. Moderation on Twitch. Okay. This is for fun. It's meant to be for fun. If you feel Monka S or BS about this conversation, you may put those emotes in the chat at this time. That is acceptable as a way for you to vent and to prepare for what we're going to talk about. So a couple a couple points that I want to bring up and feel free to share your thoughts. This is why I'm doing this because I want to know your perspective is to get a sense not only of <clears throat> what moderation is and how it can work, but we're trying to figure out how it should work here to have the best chat experience possible, while also being compassionate, uh, being mindful of TOS, stuff like that. So as a sort of groundwork for this conversation, if you're thinking about it like bowling, the bumpers are TOS. You can't go outside that. Your channel gets spanned. So that we can kind of assume is the moderation floor here. If stuff is directly violating TOS, then that's not acceptable. I think we can just take that as a, a sort of given before we get into other stuff. Um, debating whether or not certain stuff should be against TOS or not. I think you could do that in a tasteful way. Uh, usually you'd want to avoid, say, using buzzwords that are directly against TOS. Uh, a good rule you could use is if a Twitch broadcaster got a 30-day ban for using a term, don't use that term <laughs> because that can get me in trouble. Uh, another thing that changed with the Terms of Service last year was a Twitch broadcaster can be punished for the behavior of their chat. So the chat here reflects upon me, so I would prefer that to be a positive sort of environment. It doesn't mean that we can't talk about the, the saucy and the spicy and the edgy stuff. That's one thing that I try to be as open about as I can, where if you want to discuss the hard topics, politics, religion, you want to talk about social issues. You can talk about social issues here. The point is, it should be done in a respectful way where you're trying to have a conversation with someone, share your perspective, they're sharing their perspective, and hopefully you both gain understanding coming out of it. Even if you think that you're in the right at the start of the conversation and at the end of the conversation, you can gain the understanding of someone else's perspective, which sort of explains their position for you. You have more of a, an awareness of how they got to where they are. And uh, sometimes that can take the edge off the frustration you might have of them not voting for the same political party as you, for example. So to start, we have Outer Bounds, which is the Twitch TOS. Can't break TOS. Don't break TOS. Don't do stuff in the chat that uh, threatens me with TOS. Just respect the integrity of the, the channel and the issues of Twitch, the platform. One other note, and this is kind of a, a constant uh, battle on Twitch, is what is free speech? Free speech versus moderation on Twitch channel. Twitch is not a town square. It's not the same as being on the street corner shouting about something. So Twitch can apply its own rules, and then a moderator on Twitch can also apply their rules on top of that of what is or is not allowed and that's valid so making the whole like slippery slope free speech all of this thing it's a debate that we're always going to continue to have but that's something to be aware of 
<clears throat> Twitch is trying to protect itself with having these terms of service rules and broadcasters as well are trying to protect themselves by setting some boundaries of stuff that maybe is unwise to talk about all the time. You have no idea what I think politically. So Chetta, appreciate that sub and Just Jordan for the whole year and a badge upgrade. Fantastic, dude. So you caught us, I'm gonna mute my alerts now actually. You caught us in the middle of a discussion on Twitch moderation. So I have some questions for the chat. Uh, to get a sense of kind of general feedback and survey of how you feel like moderation is being done here, what you think about that. Uh, looks like Cobra just linked the TOS in the chat. That's pretty nice. If you care, I mean, if you play things on the safe side generally, you're not going to run into trouble. But if you like being edgy, sometimes it's useful of knowing what the TOS is so you know how to be on the edge. Meh. <clears throat> so how would you rate... To just to give some general kind of fun questions here, just for like a, a performance evaluation. How would you rate this Twitch chat from 0 to 10, where 10 is the best Twitch chat ever and 0 is the absolute worst Twitch chat ever? Just to start. Just to get a sense. Thirty-eight, ten, eight, eleven. Close to 10, 8, 4, 10, 8, 9, 98, 9, 7 or 8, 5, 7, 9, 7, 7, 8, 9. Okay. We could do an average of this. Oh, Jordan Winstead from Central. What is up, dude? Been a while. Hope you're doing well. Wouldn't this chat have been selected for ones like that? Ones like what? <clears throat> okay, so people who put below a five or a five, do you want to give a sentence as to why it's not higher than it is to give context? And this is all if you feel comfortable doing that. I don't want to... I'm, this is not an interrogation. This is just an open forum of discussion. Because I... I try to have funny, entertaining, silly memes, but also I do want to have an awesome Twitch chat. I would really like it if people join the chat and they feel like this place is respectful, it's dank as fuck, I really like the people who are here and I have a good time and I feel like I learn. What's the number for? These numbers are for how you would rate this Twitch chat. 10 is the best, 0 is the worst. <clears throat> think day nine is close to 10. I guess everyone could technically give some feedback of what you think could be better about it. Moves the desk lamp. Mine is a little cookie cutter sometimes. You think I'm achieving these goals so far? <clears throat> well, one difference of my channel as opposed to a lot of other ones is I have a lot of mods. When I was talking with people at TwitchCon, other streamers, other Twitch employees and stuff, I have an order of magnitude, if not more, moderators. And a topic that I hadn't really discussed very much, but the first time it kind of jumped out at me, was uh, I was going to mod Egoistic Lily, who's actually here right now. And she was saying, no, I, I would prefer not to be mod. I'll be VIP or whatever. And I asked about that further. And she was saying that there's a power dynamic between a moderator and a viewer whenever you have a discussion. Because this isn't always the case, but sometimes a certain mod will have a discussion. The mod thinks they're right. They think you're wrong. And there's a point where they could just smack down and time you out or ban you. So there is that imbalance in power for that. And some people don't like that. Some people in some chats do misuse that. And it kind of gets to their head. You can see this with anyone with power in other aspects of life. Like police officers, politicians, uh, 
bosses and companies. Like this is a general human thing where power can corrupt people and it tends to do that in a slow, gradual rate way rather than an instant way. And oftentimes it can happen more when you're already emotionally compromised. So this is something to be aware of. Body Pop also almost asked not to be mod. <clears throat> Recently been too quick to ban and we're failing to engage the user. I would like to step up and say that's partially my fault. I've kind of made a, a bit of a joke of who can ban people the fastest, which is kind of funny. We have like the Western, like I'll put on Ecstasy of Gold or something and sometimes someone will get banned and I'll be like fastest ban in the West or whatever. And it's all like, it's meant to be in good fun, but it may have also encouraged some of the mods to take action as fast as they physically can with either a purge, a timeout, or a ban, as opposed to, and this is one of the main things I wanted to uh, bring up as kind of a ground floor for this discussion, is the moderator should first try to de-escalate the situation by correcting and communicating and having a conversation with the person, rather than being just a, a straight up punishment every time, just punishment. Mods punish. No, mods, the reason they're modded is because I generally feel like they understand the spirit of my channel. I trust them with those mod powers. And I think they set a good example. And uh, one tricky thing about it is sometimes if someone gets mod powers, and this is another fault on me, if they get the mod powers and they don't know what I want the mod guidelines to be, they mod as they think they as they think the chat should be modded, or as they would mod their own channel, rather than a what does the broadcaster want me to do for moderation in this case? So since I didn't write out mod guidelines, which I will work on here in the near future, you kinda have to guess at that or ask me, which is not as ideal as having some guidelines. And having some guidelines wouldn't mean you would never have to ask me anymore. It would probably just save some time with that. <clears throat> you rated me an 8 or a 9. I'm more open to conversation than most streams. You're banned in most streams for asking a question. Yeah. There's the... The slider as well of authoritarian and libertarian chat, where some chats are basically like anything goes and they'll just go as far, sometimes breaking TOS, and the channel won't get banned if it doesn't happen often enough. So we've swung recently pretty authoritarian. I would kind of agree a little bit, a little bit too authoritarian. A little bit too authoritarian. Having strictness is important but also not to the point especially for a brand new viewer who <clears throat> say for example you've got a brand new viewer they don't know neuro they don't know what we're about they don't know what the chat is about they don't know the spirit of our conversation and our goals to be compassionate and respectful of this they don't know all that stuff they just see a starcraft channel or a twitch stream jump in there they do their normal thing <clears throat> if we punish them immediately before talking to them that sets a, a really scary tone for that person sometimes you've got someone who they've kind of got a little bit of attitude they're a little bit full of themselves but maybe they're young maybe they're still open to persuasion and all this other stuff if you can uh, be welcoming to them call them out if they did something wrong or disrespectful you could say hey we don't do that kind of thing here, and this is why. Giving people the why goes a super, super long way in persuading them, getting them on board, and getting a conversation rolling, as opposed to just punishing them for the what. So they did something, or they said something, and if you punish them, but you don't say why, they just get angry and confused. This is kind of similar to 
uh, parenting in a way. Not to, like, say that people are trolls or children or whatever. But human beings generally are much more satisfied with a punishment or a timeout or scolding if they get an explanation of why that was the case. So you were, that message was purged, and this is why. They'll be like, okay, maybe I don't fully agree with that, but since you told me, I understand, and I can refrain from doing that in this chat so we can find an equilibrium together, and they can reside in the chat, they'll abide the rules, and we effectively, effectively reach the state of we're cool. We're cool. Do you think there could be a correlation between authoritarianism and viewer population? The mods may be operating in the same manner, but never newer viewer doesn't know the spirit of the stream and breaches it. So it's a combination of a few factors <clears throat> in the recent way the chat has developed. So we've grown a lot really fast, and that's fantastic. That also means that we have more trolling. More people just go from the highest viewer streams of StarCraft or whatever, or front page, and they go into the channel and they start trolling. So I have modded a bunch of people more recently, and that also kind of shifts the dynamic of we have more purges happen, we have more timeouts happen, and that does have to be the case for some of it. Like, obviously, they're, they're doing, like, the big, huge, like, copy pasta, just, like, body parts and nudity like obviously you're gonna knock that out of the chat for sure or like racist stuff like as fast as possible removing that and having more mods helps with the speed of that action <clears throat> but yeah uh, the tough thing too is opening up a conversation also takes more energy it takes more work more engagement for the mod so a mod sees something, they see something that goes against the spirit of the chat, for them to time out or ban, oftentimes just closes the book on the issue. If uh, the person says something, you permaban the person or time them out and don't address it, then sometimes that just, it goes on by and you go on with your day. But you've also missed an opportunity. So you're sacrificing an opportunity for speed, effectively. And you maybe lose a viewer. And it also affects the reputation of the channel as well. And I know that we have a bit of a reputation here of being... Uh, we stand against trolling and toxicity and stuff. But one thing that I want to try to establish as well is that we are open to discussing stuff and tackling the difficult issues. And also being able to win a lot of the fence sitters. So people who are, maybe they've been a part of toxicity in gaming for a while, and that's just how they've been. That's just how they are on Twitch and in games and stuff like that. But if they see how we do things here, and they say, hey, this is pretty cool. This is, we can have fun, we can laugh about stuff, and we can have lots of amazing entertainment and gameplay. Without the toxicity, we can set an example and shift the landscape in that direction. So <clears throat> I would like to try to win some fence sitters too and give people some chances. It's hard to change opinions without long form discussion. Your choice to engage them is a tall task. Yes, it is. What about deleting messages? Well, yeah, that's the question here, too, is when should you purge? When should you time out? When should you ban? It's tough to say because a lot of stuff is kind of in that in-between stage. Yeah, should I purge this? Should I not? Yeah, should I time this out for five minutes, for ten minutes, for a day? Should I permit this person? Mods can talk amongst each other about that. But you're banned in the stream a few years ago for asking a question. <clears throat> uh, you stopped subbing and unfollowed for a month. You like the stream a lot. You're respectful. 
It felt like a misunderstanding. You're banned for talking back. Didn't feel like bullying, like an overzealous cop. Uh, part of the thing, too, is we've had a lot of people banned. Um, a lot of people. And sometimes, this is unfortunate, it, like, falls into the category of the vast majority of the time someone was banned, they earned it. And if you don't contact me fast enough in an appropriate channel, tweeting at me or emailing me are usually the best. Uh, it's hard to review that and get you unbanned. We have chat logs now, so the mod tools have improved recently. <clears throat> Better conversations with the other mods and be open about the other points of view and how we shape our policies. Make sure they're aligned with the streamer's POV. Not hard-coded from the own personal POV. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tough thing, too, is say you're a moderator in multiple channels, your moderation should change based on the channel. Kind of similar to how, in the most ideal way, your StarCraft strategy should change based on the map and the opponent, even though you're still the player in all those. If we can loop it back to some StarCraft... Yeah, another thing that Egoistic is bringing up here is what she's calling soft moderating a channel. By being in the channel and setting a good example, you're directing the currents and the flow of how the conversation is going. So you don't necessarily need the, the ban, timeout, purge buttons to be able to correct someone. So what I'm talking about here of the <clears throat> converse correct aspect of moderation a viewer or a vip can do this as well the difference is like i was saying the power dynamic of having the sword next to you of sometimes people behave differently talking to a sword than they do talking to a jewel or a sub badge or a new viewer The chat is awesome, and I think you're awesome. Not much needs to change, if anything. Well, take this as an example. <clears throat> the United States of America, which is where I'm from, fancies itself the greatest country in the world. A lot of people in the country do that. One aspect of being the greatest in any capacity, whether that's the biggest economy or biggest military or whatever, is if you're in the lead in some capacity, and you turn around and you're laughing at all the people behind you, telling them how great you are, they're catching up during that period of time. So maybe you think that this is one of the best Twitch chats, and that's awesome. But I would like to continue to make that even more awesome if possible. Yeah, not all of the mods use their sword powers. That's true. It would be kind of cool, and I don't know about this in terms of the um, the backend data or the dashboard data, if you could see who's been using the mod powers the most in like a, a graph format, just some charts and graphs of who's been timing out, who's been banning the most. Purging is just when you delete the messages of a person in the chat without putting them in timeout. Sometimes you never know if you're going to get banned. Really?
You hear from the post in the Twitch Reddit, you respect and agree with what I had to say as a small timer on that grind? Yo, Shazi. I'll give your channel a link in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. You think it's important for anyone to speak their mind, whatever it is? I think there are still some boundaries, though, like TOS stuff. Some people can have some really horrible and destructive and violent ideas. And just because that's on their mind doesn't mean it's appropriate to say stuff like that. You're more reserved in my channel because of the culture I've created here. Yeah, it has, to be fully transparent, it has changed over the course of the years. So when I first started the stream, it was very, very open. And the Twitch TOS was also more open as well. So I, I still had a lot of the respect memes and stuff, but I wasn't as aggressive with the, the control of timing people out and banning people and stuff like that. And uh, Pact Facts, the person who I dated for three and a half years, she had a lot more of that authoritarian push. She was in the stream a lot, and she's... Uh, a very idealistic kind of radical feminist. She would self-brand herself that way. And I understand the spirit of a lot of those ideas. And I agree with her on a lot of that stuff. So that impacted me in a, a sizable way, with which also impacted the way moderation and stuff is done. <clears throat> What's my favorite thing about life? Mm. It's tough to say just one thing. Well, we're in the middle of a nice conversation right now. Conversation is one of the best things in life, I think. If you can have a really rich and Rewarding one. Dorak, thank you for gifting that sub. How can I tell if someone is a mod? They have the green sword next to their name. Yeah, green square with the white sword. Yep. Yeah. Am I strictly against censoring? No. I mean, it makes sense for you to censor the range of material given the space. Like, some super obvious examples. This is the thing, too, is that it can be the most obvious example versus the least obvious example. Say, adult sexual material. Obviously, that should not be in a lot of places just because the audience is inappropriate for that. You would not do that, and it makes total sense. So time and place for where stuff is discussed and how it's discussed and presented. So I think it's uh, it would be going too far to say that censoring in general is universally a bad thing. A lot of people like to debate the the line of how much you should censor because there is certainly the point where you're censoring too much and people can't uh, critique things that deserve to be criticized. Uh, Russia and Turkey are good examples of this where being a journalist is a, a very dangerous profession to have. You can just be killed for presenting the news and reports and stuff of what's been happening. So obviously that's a, a massive problem. Two to three more years, you might catch up to Omidus. In what? Am I pretty far behind? Set up something like that in Discord. Oh, the charts and graphs of who's been doing what? Yerp, thank you for the five.
Is there a mod hierarchy? Yes, there is a a Jedi Council chat, which is kind of the the upper echelon of mods. They don't have technically more powers than the other mods do, but it's um, it's another layer up where some disputes can be settled and stuff. It's awesome I didn't have to do all that. I know I didn't. I chose to do that. Four-year badge. Yep, we've got badges all the way up to eight-year. So we're in it. We're in it for the long haul. <clears throat> have I done any woodworking painting? No. What's a pop light? Some streamers ban people for hurting their feelings. I try to absorb the ad hominem attacks and bounce with people. I tend to be less forgiving when people are insulting other viewers. That's usually what I come down harder on. Then uh, if you're insulting me, then I can kind of banter with you. But a viewer doesn't have the same means to defend themselves as a broadcaster because I can... I'm coming from like a platform of authority. The broadcaster is above the mods in the just hierarchy of button pushing. And I also have like facial expressions. I have audio, I can talk. There are more layers to fight back against one who's trolling. Mod chat being open and viewable to everyone, but only typable by mods. That's a, that's a cool idea, actually. Okay, let me let me scroll through. I'm kind of behind the chat a little bit because I'm trying to address this, but I wanna I wanna get a vote on this. I I like that idea actually. I think it's great. Ninety five percent of the time, it's inherently more controversial. Yes, uh, that's another thing too. Is no, we don't have written guidelines. I'm gonna work on that pretty soon probably at some point next week i should be able to get a, do a google document together with some general guidelines for this channel for mods and the chat as well But yeah, it's easy to think of a lot of other channels that have more strict guidelines of what you can and cannot talk about. Um, and that's fair, because sometimes people want to find a place where they don't have to worry about politics. I've heard a lot of people complain about this, where they're just walking around in the world and in the U.S. on the TV, it's like, Trump, 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 politics, politics, this, that, this, that, everyone's all shouting. And sometimes they want to just go into a stream where they don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. I totally get that. So here we have it more open, which also means that maybe there's that percentage of your time where you don't want to have to deal with controversy, and we're talking about controversy. So, yeah, that's that's part of the, the deal with that. <clears throat> yeah, Morris, I agree with that. With... A ton of swords around, it can be intimidating for a new viewer. I have noticed some people will say that. They'll be like, mod chat, Monka S. We could do a another mod purge again, where we swap people from mod to VIP. Because part of the reason I modded some people is because I want to distinguish them in some way. Because they've done a lot for me in the chat, and I like them and respect them and stuff. So... It can kind of feel like a, a punishment to be unmodded and swapped to VIP, which makes it extra tough to do those mod purges. Yeah, Shaolin Drifter did the 
badges. Awesome stuff. He is very skilled. Okay. Trying to catch up, trying to catch up. Would you say this channel has a more lax view on bands uh, compared to what? We're more strict now than we were two years ago by a big margin. Uh, yeah, I would say so. A vibe has no mods. I'm not going to do that, but that's a decision that you can make. Uh, Livy B has less moderation than I do. So he has a kind of proxy mod set up where people can petition stuff through a, a bot that does it, which means there are no swords floating around. But there are different solutions to the problem, and part of it depends on what the streamer wants their chat to be like, the environment they're trying to create. <clears throat> I kind of like, because we do have the Jedi Council uh, chat in the Discord as well, we could have the Jedi Council private, and that's fewer people, that's not as many mods. And then the the mod one can be visible. That seems cool. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just say yay or nay, do you like the idea of the mod chat being visible on Discord? You may press your yay or nay in chat at this time. You would lay down your sword, no worries. Yeah, but you wouldn't be really a candidate for that. The people who would get it swapped would generally be uh, either using it too much, like in this current phase, using it a little bit too much, or being in the chat a bunch and not using it at all. Because some people, and you're kind of in this category, where you watch the stream quite a bit in the past, and you have a really good rep with me and you show up every now and then and when you do you're always like bubbly positive so there's no downside for me to have a sword next to your name but I appreciate the sentiment and part of the problem too is people who would happily and willingly lay down their mod sword are not generally the people who would be power tripping think about it Okay. So, so yes. And Cobra has uh, Discord power, so if you want to flip that switch on, whatever switch that is, you can make the, the mod channel visible to everyone. But I would guess it's still gated where only mods can talk, but everyone can look at it. So if someone wanted to, wanted to talk about it in general, you could do that. Because in a way, that increases transparency and accountability of what the mods are doing. And generally speaking, this is a human psychology thing, people tend to be on better behavior when they're being watched. Would you believe that? Good people, bad people, it's kind of a general trend. If there's someone over your shoulder seeing what you're doing, you're more likely to do the right thing than if you're anonymous or on your own. Do I think streamers ever take time to think about moderating themselves over their viewers? Someone telling a streamer they're being too emotional during a stream and being banned for it. Well, I would say in general, telling a person that they're being too emotional is, eh, that's not the best way to go about it. Uh, that Actually, that does bring up a, another good point that I wanted to address relating to this, which is... You should also be aware of your current mental state and health when you're moderating a channel or my channel. If you are tilted, if you had a terrible day or you're coming off something that has you just kind of steamed, fuming, really upset, that can generally lead to a lot of more aggressive action toward a viewer that is disproportionate to what they've been doing because you kind of carry that that rage around with you until you've let it go somewhere 
And sometimes that means I'm in this stream that I normally watch in MMR, like boom, 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 banning people or being really harsh and direct. When normally, if you were in a more even and less tilted state of mind, you wouldn't act so fast and aggressively. So I would advise to for mods of the channel to put your own safety and health first. If you feel like you're low on energy, you don't have time to put up with settling disputes and taking stuff to whispers and having conversations and scolding trolls and all this, then you can just lurk. You can just chill. Or you can just chat and not really worry about moderation duties. So I care about you. I don't want you to feel obligated to mod and work hard and stuff like this. It's not a paid position right now. So this is a, as you have the energy, you may do these things. Even Sea of Whiskey leaves when he gets drunk. <laughs> yep. Stop being so emotional, Kappa. This was something that actually my parents did a good job of doing, which was, uh, this is talking about like family house discipline, which is kind of off topic, but I feel like there's something useful that they represented, which was we did get spanked if we did stuff wrong. Some There's the whole debate about whether that's good or bad or whatever. But <clears throat> for our parents, that would never happen in the heat of the moment of like the kid does something that's against the rules you're upset you thwack the kid it was always a, a process of counting of you get some chances and if you go through your chances you're going to get a spanking later by the other parent who is not angry with you so we would never be hit in anger which i think they read that from a book somewhere but the principle of that i think is worth learning from in that you're going to be more just with how you deliver punishment if you take care of your own frustration and emotion first, or if you delegate that to someone else. So for this example of like handing off the punishment to the other parent, you could talk to another mod and say, this person's got my Jimmy Jim Jims all rustling and I'm just pissed. This is the situation. I need to go take a walk, take a shower, eat some ice cream, do whatever you have to. Uh, if you could handle this, that would be fantastic. That's that's a thing that I would recommend, too. <clears throat> One way to curb anger bans is to bring permanent bans and other harsh punishment up for review by a number of other mods. <laughs> so bring it before a jury is what you're saying? That makes sense. C-SPAN. Did I put the... Crap, I should have just put the stream time in this. Yeah, whatever. I think I'll, I'll highlight this and put this on YouTube. <clears throat> Did an event spur this conversation? Um, Kind of. I wouldn't say it was an event. It's more like a trend. A few different events did. So, uh, if I can, Morris, is it cool if I talk about your unmodding? Just to be fair about it. A couple different things. 
it wasn't like we had a single mod who went on a furious rampage and it's all about them because if that was the case i would just talk to them and i would unmod them okay so morris unmodded himself and he's one of the best mods that we've had and his reasoning was the we have tons of mods here so it felt like it wasn't really needed for him to be there and some of the mods are a little bit hyper aggressive sometimes and that kind of set a bad tone where it him being there also with the sword made the chat just even more scary <clears throat> to viewers who are not mods and lily bringing up the point about the power dynamic of mods have that intimidation factor and if you're in a discussion you have the kind of fear that the mod is going to strike at you stuff like that and then cobra talked to me uh, ahead of today just kind of seeing what the mod channel is like in discord and in addition with the discord being reworked and us having a mod channel this is new like this is all new stuff for me so the channel is growing fast we have more mods than ever before we have more trolls than ever before and we have new channels that didn't exist before where we're talking about all this stuff so basically we've just like if you're thinking about a sculpture you have the the marble or the rock that you're starting from and you're chipping away at it we've basically just expanded a whole different set of stuff and this conversation is about polishing that and sculpting that down to make that look a little bit more nice you know that's the idea here so it's not a catastrophe it's not like sky's falling down neuros mods are just out of control it's a rampage that that would be a huge problem it's not a huge problem but it's a trend that we want to discuss that's the idea here and everyone's opinion matters if you're in the chat your opinion matters because you're a part of this community and i value you <clears throat> he forged his sword into a diamond yeah can you ban sal if he says you weigh 130 pounds again you can certainly try, but he also has a sword, and mods can't ban each other. You would have to ask Mark to ban him. Just delete all the mods. That's a, a route that you can choose. I would not choose that. You feel valued. Good, thank you for the 200. Cool. Well, it's Cobra here, because he kind of inspired this conversation to an extent. Cobra and Morris and Lily, I think, were the people who I've had a few separate conversations with that kind of, and also Sea of Whiskey, um, to get this conversation going. Cobra, are you here? Does it seem fairly rounded off? I think we've rounded off the majority of the points here. <clears throat> Thank you, Dorak, for gifting another sub. Appreciate you. Anything that I missed. So we will have guidelines written out by me in the future. I will look at some other suggestions and guidelines from other mods and other chats and stuff like this. And try to build the most fantastic set of guidelines possible. <clears throat> because the, uh, the difference here an analogy we can make is it's kind of like a correctional facility or a prison if some of them are just all about punishment and it's about punishment first and mod powers are about punishing people no it should be about correction and you reform people so that they can integrate with society integrate with the chat there are some offenses where you would go directly to jail and what you did was so terrible that you shall not come back into the chat unless you make a new account and we'll ban you again but for a lot of the stuff if we can find out where they're coming from give them the adjustments try to help move them in the right direction we can make peace we can find an equilibrium and we can be cool
what prisons are supposed to be for. I mean, you, yeah, you do obviously have to punish some people and remove them from society. <clears throat> right, Cobra, but I value your opinion. And also, you haven't been with us for a particularly long period of time in the mod team which also i feel like gives a a refresh on the perspective of the channel so i think that also kind of it perks up my ears in a way of like oh so you don't have the same context of being on the mod team for five years or whatever like Kessnuts has been with us for basically the whole time uh Zilithar, stuff like that who yeah, they've seen people come and go and the seasons and all this other stuff <clears throat> so in that sense i think if i could do the alignment your uh if you ran a stream i think your stream would be a little bit more libertarian than mine in terms of the level of enforcement for certain words and topics and stuff like that but i do think that it was getting more authoritarian than i would like so I think the feedback is very well founded. And I understand that you don't want to uh, come across as a, like you're the boss of the mods and what you say is the, the final word and stuff. <clears throat> but I think the, the critique was valid. You're saying yes to all of it, I guess, or that you would have a more libertarian chat than me test nuts best nuts <laughs> permission to come aboard captain sweet action so how long until people can see the mod chat I'm hyped now I'm hyped. What's up, Dirt or Bust? How's it going? How's it going? What is my spirit animal? You know, I was kind of reevaluating that recently. Because I've said bear a lot. Uh, physically speaking, a bear doesn't really match with me. I'm more of like a dex animal. I, I think lions are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Because I, I tend to fight for what I get as a StarCraft GM streamer. And lead from the front. And I have a main. So I don't know. I was kind of thinking lion recently. I'm not much of a cat person. But I think of cats, lions are my favorite. Owls are pretty cool. I think owls are a little bit more reserved than I am. A mongoose. Everyone's just putting their spirit animal in the chat. My preferred flavor of ice cream, mint chocolate chip. When correcting behavior via banning, perma, or otherwise, would there be a possibility of DMing to inform the reason? Yeah, ideally that should happen every time. Unless it's like it's like obviously like super racist or something. Yes. I think if they're doing that, they know what they're doing. And it's, they're just like going around hassling Twitch streams. I feel like there's also the point where you do need to save yourself some time as well. <clears throat> you see me as a coyote. Tigers are cool, too. Preferred D&D &D class? That's the thing, is I kind of want to play a bard for the, the fun of it. I wouldn't play that in a, a video game. Because in a video game, I tend to prefer melee classes, because I like the mechanics of it. It's usually fast and maneuver-oriented, and like you're really aggressively moving around the battlefield. Whereas... For a game like Skyrim, I preferred the range classes because the melee mechanics are terrible. 
And then for D&D, it's more about the creativity because there are no like button pushing mechanics. So it's about the story and how interesting your character is and like the funnier, awesome stuff that they can do. It's more situational and narrative based. Am I going to play what? I don't know what that is. We do get quite a few trolls in the channel. I think we get more than some channels because I position myself against trolls. Okay, okay. So we are a good five hours 30 in. Um, watch this. Context. The random link on the internet. Click this. Uh, Monka S. <laughs> Stream ends. Well, I'm really congested and I have Twitch Rivals tomorrow. We're doing arcade stuff. So I don't really want to go for too much longer. I need to drink water. I keep plowing through these waters, but it's like really annoying congestion. So thank you everyone for contributing to this discussion. It helps me a lot. I get a sense of the, the state of the Twitch chat and how's it going. Yeah, Twitch Rivals tomorrow. It is at... I think like 1 p.m. Pacific? No, 1.30 Pacific. I'm not even supposed to be here today. My dude, I've been streaming six to seven days a week ever since I've been single. I do what I want. Thank you. You hope me and Loco get teamed up? That will not happen. He's in the EU Twitch Rivals. There's the EU Southeast Asia ANZ team over here. And then there's the NA. So I'm in the NA group. So I cannot physically be on the same or opposing team as anyone from EU or SEA. More hopes and dreams. You're sad you missed the discussion? I'll put it on YouTube, Chicken Man. And we'll probably make a command out of it. <clears throat> because, because... It's good to get people up to speed. <laughs> 